Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good this evening. So as you guys all know, I did my live stream yesterday concerning all the drama that went down with Jay Prince. Wallow, Gilly the Kid, Take Off. It was a bunch of nonsense that went down on their podcast and social media had a lot to say. And during my live stream, I talked about, you know, what I felt was the cause of all of this. And I had basically insinuated that I felt that Jay Prince was getting pillow talked to by not only Quavo, but also P from QC. I feel like a lot of the information that he's saying, he's getting it from an inside source. Well, today, Jay Prince finally decided to reply back to Offset. If you guys remember, Offset took to social media and basically went off about his name being mentioned in the podcast. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys both of these clips. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. But um, it's Offset, dude. I ain't going to leave him out. You know, I'm just real like this, you know, because, you know, you know, niggas be throwing rocks and hiding their hand, right? They be throwing rocks and hiding their hand. And uh, I don't like them kind of individuals. You know, and, and the truth of the matter is, you know, one can can dance and different things in front of these different cameras and, and all that kind of shit. And, and, re, and, and when reality, the truth of the matter is, you know, nigga, you wasn't really right there with take off when he was alive, you know what I mean? So for you to be taking these positions that you taking, you know what I mean? And I, I got people everywhere, so I hear all kinds of things. Uh, I'm going to just say this to you. Uh, hey, first off, y'all niggas speaking on my real brother. I don't know what y'all niggas got, what the fuck y'all niggas got going on. Y'all niggas speaking on my real brother. I dare one of y'all niggas even speak on me and Tate relationship, nigga. I don't know you niggas from a can of paint, nigga. Y'all niggas don't know how me and my brother rock, nigga. You trying to clear your face, nigga. You done, this your fifth interview, nigga. You done did about my brother, nigga. You ain't think about his mama. You ain't think about the family, nigga. We ain't said nothing. Ain't nobody said nothing but you niggas. You niggas, man, who y'all nigga think y'all nigga is? John got it, nigga. Ain't nobody going for none of that, bro. I ain't studying none of that shit y'all nigga talking about either. And if you heard something from me, I'ma tell you it's it's, it's gonna come from me. Call my phone. Y'all nigga going off of he say, she say. Then y'all nigga supposed to be this is who who y'all supposed to be. And y'all nigga on interviews and it out on an interview. Talking about I said that nigga, call my phone, homie. You call my phone, we'll have a conversation. They what I'm talking about all that plant internet. Internet guys, I don't do. All right, so you guys just watched those clips. So today, Jay Prince is responding back. So he took to his social media page, and this is what he initially wrote. He says, a message to the man that's off. He says, to all those of you that still live on principles over emotions, that know and respect me, it's all good. I don't care about the media hoes. They all eat shit for a living. We live on a different plane and breathe different air, if you know what I mean. I only display loyalty and friendship to my brothers and sisters until they show me they're untrustworthy. Never been a bully or lived a life where I abuse my power on the weak. No matter what you heard, it's cap. I'm glad I'm not one of those individuals that my family has to hold their head down when my name is mentioned. So excuse me while I deal with these clowns because ain't nobody gonna tell the truth like, I'm going to give it to them. So that is what Jay Prince wrote. And then he went on to post this video. Y'all go ahead and check this out. This clown offset suffering from being a fake motherfucker disease. He want to play victim now. But he was a volunteer when he spoke threats about me and my family name in his mouth about what he going to do. Why you didn't call me to talk is the twist he want to use. Tell lies in your woman here, nigga. I don't have time to listen to weak shit. Now you want to fake in front of a camera, trying to hide behind takeoff mother when I've shown nothing but respect for her and family. See, boy, you acting like you a part of a family 
that don't really fuck with you because you're a snake. Now you don't know me from a can of paint. Let me see if I can refresh your memory. Remember we talked when you got your ass whooped in Atlanta? You forgot? Remember when you called up on me and I came to L.A. and met with you because you was nervous about your wife performing because she had them issues about using the word flu. You forgot? Remember when you and Sauce Walker was beefing and you wanted me to stamp that bullshit? You forgot that too? I can go on, but I think you remember now. See, this is the reason I say blood make you kin and loyalty make you family because of motherfuckers like you that have stuck a knife in the back of the ones you call your brother. Explain. Since you're a real ass nigga, explain to the people the real reason why you weren't on that stage at the Grammys with Quavo who you call your brother for the tribute. You ain't man enough to do that because you what we call a tender dick nigga. Take off Quavo and the family when the family wasn't fucking with you for a while before it's passing and still don't fuck with you because you a rattlesnake nigga. Quavo been letting you make it because he got a good heart. It's consequences when you fuck with me. I don't have no heart for no snake and I give you what you ask for. And by the way, I don't think I'm no John Gotti. That ain't who I looked up to. It's no secret who my OG is. The flag you perpetrate with. Homie, you better go do what you do best. Write some rhymes and quit playing gangster. I don't want no trouble. Peace. All right, so y'all just heard what Jay Prince had to say. So then shortly after that, somebody took to Cardi B on Twitter and they said this. You be set tripping and forgot that Jay Prince had to help you feel safe in L.A. Where's the lie? So Cardi B replied back and she says, never tell him to show receipts. Only people that was there was Wack and Big U. Why would he be called for anything involving the Crips? A whole bunch of fairy tales. If you guys remember, I believe this took place in Minneapolis, if I'm not wrong. Um, Cardi B was out here performing for the Super Bowl, and she had on this blue coat. And as we all know, you know, she's affiliated with the Bloods or whatever. And so she had wrote on her caption, it caused a lot of drama on the West Coast out there in L.A., but she wrote, I hate wearing flu, but this coat is too popping. And so when that went viral, a bunch of like female Crips was getting at her. They was going off about it. I talked about this years ago. This weird ass bitch, Cardi B, steady disrespecting Crip Wayne in New York. Bitch, come in LA, bitch, we get made for a different fucking cause. Bitch, niggas really out here losing their life for this shit. And you out here thinking this shit is cute. Hee hee ha ha, clown ass bitch. At the end of the day, all you industry ass Crips, y'all not even checking this bitch. And you industry ass bloods, y'all need to check that bitch. Cause at the end of the day, when us real Crips start disrespecting blood, like all our family and relatives, all our family and friends gonna be mad as fuck. But at the end of the day, y'all should have checked y'all industry ass blood homegirl for disrespecting crib bitch niggas out here really losing their life for this shit you weird so jay prince is saying that basically he had to help cardi b get out that situation which really doesn't make any sense because jay prince is more affiliated with the gds than he is the crips of the bloods but okay sir so anyhow of course honey once whack heard this he had to jump up in it you know you say his name he's like handyman he's gonna pop up so um cardi also wrote big lies and then after that, WAC 100 popped up, and this is what WAC 100 had to say. So WAC 100 says, I am at Cardi B, tells no lies. I am at J Prince Respect, had nothing to do with that weekend or that issue. Shit was different back then between me and the other individual. He's talking about Big U, because as you guys all know, him and Big U fell off this year. So he was secretly recorded talking mess about Big U, but child, that's a whole nother video. Then he goes on to say, it was a simple round table understanding. He cleared the way on his side and myself and bombed in homies cleared it on our side. On top of that, without mentioning names, her management team was my brother and at Offset Siren was with me long before he met Bozo. Hashtag stop lying. Then Wack goes on to say, that nigga lying. 
We covered for I Am Cardi B that weekend. She's Damu, and we kept her straight. She had a hundred bloods with her all weekend on top of her management team. At J Prince Respect, you're all cap. Why are you letting the world know this man had a problem with you and you heard this in the streets? Hashtag PC move. So that's what WAC 100 had to say about the situation. So now on top of WAC 100 posting that, he also took the clubhouse child, surprise, surprise to no one, to also further elaborate on the drama with Jay Prince. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Nigga, why did you expose to the world that Offset had an issue with you about this man getting killed up under y'all supervision. If you heard in the street, Offset got an issue with you, nigga. Why is you broadcasting it to the world, nigga? That's a PC number. move. Right. Man, fuck his number. If a nigga... Yo, Wack. Uh, yo, Wack, what's up? Yo, man, a nigga. Um, you know, whoop de whoop Lil D. Come on when y'all see each other. I want to go to war. I'll take you to war. Bitch ass nigga, you ain't been to war yet. You ain't even been to a substation. All all this big old gangster shit. Nigga, I ain't never seen a nigga 57 ain't did a day in jail. Get the fuck out of here, my nigga. Talking all the time. Oh, shit. Fuck out of here, my nigga. That's wild. That's real. This nigga talk all this high power ass shit. Like he, you know, nigga, you ain't, you ain't did shit. Fuck out of here. Nigga overrated, bro. Why is you, what, do you remember when you had to call me? Would you, nigga, why are you telling the world that you and this man got a problem? Why? For what reason? Nigga just handled the business. The fuck? I got a problem with all kind of niggas. Nigga, we ain't finna be letting nobody know we gonna get to it. Just in case you catch me, I catch you. Nigga, we don't need to get nobody, no motherfucking leads. You bitch ass nigga. You just heard the feds call me about what they thought they heard. Nigga on the internet and whoever talking on your side. And you want to come on the motherfucking internet and broadcast we got a problem. Me and all me and all said got a problem. This nigga crazy, bro. It's crazy. Dry snitching ass nigga. Every nigga know that's dry snitching. Every oh. nigga know that's dry snitching. Oh. That's for sure, dry snitch. It ain't like that. Like, you know, they were somewhere and they got into it and everybody knows it's a problem. Right? The nope. Nigga, nobody knew shit. Right. He nigga bringing up he all them old beefs and shit. All them Nobody knew shit. Nigga. Now you want to go on and tell the nigga motherfucking people, snitch. yeah, you know, I'm here through the grapevine. You know that <laughs> offset got a problem. Hey, well, then shut your bitch ass up and deal with the problem, man. Eh? The fuck is you talking about right now? Like when these people call me. Hey, yeah, what? Hey, check this out, dog. Fuck him with he stand for. When they hit, I hit. We keep hitting. Power rule. Get off my jack. Get to it. I'm waiting. Yo. My address on the internet, nigga. Get to it. When they hit, we hit. Just know that. Like, like he know where I'm at. I know where blood at. The only difference is he got to get niggas to do. I'm a doer. Yeah. So when you come over here playing with me, just know I know what to do. All right. So y'all just heard what WAC 100 had to say. So this situation is getting crazier and crazier. So finally, Offset came out and he also commented on the situation. So Offset said, street nigga turned police. Never needed you for no smoke. You the police. All that mouth with no proof, just fairy tales. Let this be the last time we speak on this. So that is what Offset had to say. So this entire situation is crazy and messy. It's going to be interesting to see how all this plays out. But I, at this point, truly feel like somebody is putting a battery in Jay Prince's back. They are running information to him. If it's not Quavo, I definitely believe that it is P who is the owner of quality control. And let's not forget P's mom came out not too long ago and accused him of sacrifice and takeoff, you know? So at this point, I feel like all of this extra drama that Jay Prince keeps bringing up between takeoff and Quavo, I feel like he's doing that to deflect from the situation. I mean, at this point, is anybody going to be held responsible for takeoff's death? 
accident or not, that bullet came from his camp, possibly. So I'm not understanding why that's not being talked about. Everything is being talked about but the innocent death of this young man. So I just find the whole situation just messy and crazy. Another thing that's really interesting is that the other day, there were reports from TMZ that Quavo and Offset got into a fight. Offset came out and he claimed that there wasn't no fight and he would never fight his brother. But then, you know, audio came out from ETV. They were interviewing Cardi at the time and you could hear some type of beef. Something went on behind the scenes where Cardi was yelling at both of them and telling both of them to stop. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Backstage, ET's cameras caught this blow up from presenter Cardi B. So what went down? It appears tensions boiled over between the remaining members of Migos, Cardi's husband Offset and his cousin Quavo. I heard you back here settling some stuff. The only thing I said was my outfit, honey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw that clip. So there is definitely some major fracturing in this group with this family, something is definitely going on. And I believe that there's a lot of people being extra messy in this situation, possibly to defect from the real issue, which is the death of takeoff. But it's getting really ugly. And I just hope that, you know, things resolve themselves. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. How do you guys feel about Jay Prince's response back to Offset? How do y'all feel about Cardi B, Offset, and WAC 100's response as well? Let me know your thoughts. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and share the video, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.